and we're floating in the middle of nowhere like there's no land no island no nothing to be found it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah hello and welcome back to another episode of this strange thing i do on the internet i am your host black hoodie and today we have a very simple yet delicious one of my favorite meals to be honest scrambled eggs nice and cheesy the orange stuff mild cheddar nice and vibrant up in your face piece and then on the side we have uh, bacon uh, the bacon was acting a fool today I'll talk about it a little bit but uh, today we are going to share a story time with you from my childhood when I was like five it's a fishing trip story and it was terrifying uh, we will get into that but first before we do anything more we must pour so we get our clear glass with the ice it's a diet a and w ting today crack under the table so as not to blow out the mic and then we graciously pour all over my table first and then into the glass apparently that wasn't gracious at all if it was the poor olympics i would get a poor score a poor score uh, of maybe if we're going out of five that was definitely a 2.7 so off to a fantastic start here you know what i mean it's great it's super awesome today the fizz seems less aggressive i don't know why from can to can the fizz can be different but today i do enjoy your uh, your, your 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 haste sir mm-hmm wonderful okay cool okay so i have a bottle of hot sauce i won't disclose which hot sauce because we're not doing labels here anymore if these brands want to be featured in my videos pay up okay i'm over it i'm done giving free promo if you want me to promo your sauces to promo your your ranch and things like that hidden well you hit me up you gotta pay or at least send me some swag you know what I mean or give me a link to your site where I can send people and I can get a kickback okay so hot sauce for the eggs ketchup for both the eggs and the bacon because I am a ketchup fiend for eggs and bacon yes I put ketchup on my eggs I'm white I'm white look at me okay cool so I want to have a bite And then we will talk about this story. It's one of those stories where your dad proves to you he is a god and a legend and the man that you always needed in your life. I mean, at least I was lucky enough to have that privilege. So, because I do understand that that is a privilege. Not everybody gets to have like a dope dad. So sorry if you didn't get a dope dad, but my dad's pretty dope. So we're going to do a ketchup hot sauce blend into the mouth hole and it is glorious just before we get into the story yes you heard that right it's nine eggs this is the most eggs I've ever eaten in a sitting I've never gone this far into the egg realm <clears throat> I know I can eat it no problem though. And you know what? Nine eggs is actually, it's only like 700 calories, something like that. So it's not bad. A lot of cholesterol. The bacon acted up today too. It weirdly burnt on one end and didn't cook on the other. I'll show you this real quick. So crispy, way too crispy, kind of floppy. And then on this side of the tray, these ones just kind of wouldn't cook on this side and then were perfect on this side. So fools be tripping in, in the oven. I don't know what was happening in that oven, but I'm usually clutch with the bacon. And today that was just not the case at all. Too smacky, sorry, my bad. Why don't I just keep this here for now? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Ketchup bacon dips. It's just my favorite. So good. Bacon is bar none, one of the most magical foods on the planet. I can't stress it enough. Just by itself, it is a flavor explosion of amazingness. Okay, so story time. Let's tell you this. So when I was <clears throat> five or so, my sister's a couple years older than me, we had these neighbors and they're my dad and him, the dude, uh, and the wife, like the parents next door, basically. They, they were those neighbors that were basically our aunt and uncle, even though they weren't. So we were so close with them that we called them Uncle Jack and Auntie Shelley. And, um, you know, their kids were basically our same age. They had two kids, but there was three in our family, but still. My sisters were friends with the girl over there because they were similar age. And then me and the dude, the boy, we were <clears throat> one year apart. So we were hombres cruising around in the power wheels, ripping rollerblades, skipping rope, jumping through the chalk. You know what I mean? Hop, skip, jump, whatever the shit, that shit was called. I totally forget. And my dad and their dad were hunter fishermen. Uh, they liked to drive out to, you know, lakes a couple hours away. And we would camp out in like an RV and we would go fishing. So we would go on fishing excursions uh, with just with just the dads, though. It wasn't like the wives would stay at home, my mom and my auntie Shelly would stay at home and they would do their thing. And then <clears throat> they would take us, all the kids, and we would go out fishing. And they would have their own RV and everything in their own boat. And then me and my sisters would have our own truck and trailer and boat and everything. And we'd head out to a place called Pakashkan. So Pakashkan was this, I think it was a uh, two hour drive, let's call it maybe three. And that's what it was. It was a fishing destination. It was a uh, campground. People would come in, you'd set up, you'd hook up, you got your fire pits. You got the outhouses, you got your boat launch from your camping spot. And then there was like the bougie area, which was the cabins. You could go rent. You could rent a cabin if you want. You don't have to bring an RV. You can just drive up, rent a cabin, bring your boat, go fishing. So this shit was really fun. We loved it. The great outdoors, childhood memories, good old times, just laughing with your people. Making s'mores, making spider dogs. Shaking up pop cans and smashing them on the ground till they explode. Being wasteful, but having fun. <clears throat> Learning how to gut fish. My dad taught us all how to cut open fish and clean it. All that stuff. I don't remember how now. It's been so long, but I'm sure I could still figure it out. It's not that difficult. In the kitchen where I've worked, I've had to fillet and clean out bones. So I know all that. Anyhow, of course, we used to go out on the lake and go fishing. And the boats that we fished in were 
14 foot tin boats with like a, a 25, 30 horsepower outboard motor. Your standard fishing boat. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Just what you need to get the job done. And for the most part, it was fun and all good times. Until one day, we got caught out in the middle of like nowhere in the lake. <clears throat> in a crazy storm like a nut storm and this is one of those defining like factors moments where it's like yeah we were young and probably overreacting a bit but this was like a moment where like you see your dad as that like godly image of a man who in a tough emergency situation like handles it gets it figured out makes it so you all don't die premature deaths in the middle of a lake but yeah so we were out and it wasn't great weather this day like it was it was a bit cloudy it was overcast but that's good fishing weather, man. Especially when the when the rain starts popping down. The fish, when it's raining for some reason or another, they come up to surface level uh, a lot more. Because I don't know if they get tricked. They think they can like grab like food from there or whatever. I don't know what it is. But when it's kind of rainy and cloudy, fishing's really good. And my dad's a dude that seizes those good moments. Like he's like he's like oh what a, it's yeah it's kind of rainy out but whatever like we'll go like he, he my dad's not soft my dad's a hard body dude so we go out and it's like we each two boats all the kids so we're talking from five to like nine ten years old a mix of five children and we're all out in the boat and da 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 and all of a sudden just so fast that we don't we just got caught sky went completely dark water just started going crazy rough <clears throat> starts pouring rain which then turned into hail thunder lightning literally cracking down into the water like we see it coming into the water all around us beside us the hail was about golf ball size i would say and we're floating in the middle of nowhere like there's no land no island no nothing to be found your visibility is shit at this point because everything's coming down so hard it's it's the the uh the wind's blowing it's wild so i remember being like five and i just like put my hood up and i got down in the nose of the boat with my buddy my next door neighbor the dude and i was all good until he started crying so he started freaking out so that made me like just in turn freak out so i started like losing my shit and my dad's trying to man the boat and we're trying to stay together as a fleet, as a unit. Like, we don't want to get separated. And at this point, but like, the only option there, like, we have to get to land. It doesn't matter what land we get to. We just have to get to land so that we can, like, pull up, tie off, get everybody out, get into the trees, and just wait the shit out. So, yeah, the dads just start handling it like a G. We start just cutting through the water, you know. And when the water is like that rough and choppy, it's like splashing over the sides. You're taking on water and we're getting pelted with, with, um, hail. So you're kind of taking on water. You're getting pelted with hail. You got children screaming and crying 
and you're you're basically you have to cut through the, the waves in a certain way in order for to not capsize so basically we're like taking the long way to get somewhere eventually we run through the fog and shit we run into we see land and it's not like where we launch from at all like we're far away from where we came from so luckily we find land it's not an ideal place to pull up though there's no like actual like run-up room it's just like this this edge So we just bang into it. My dad does a thing where it's like the boat's coming in, you bang into it, and he just runs up and jumps out onto the onto the land with the with the rope from the front of the boat, nose of the boat, goes, ties off around the tree, comes, retrieves us all to safety. Both of us, both boats, everybody gets on shore, and then we st we start huddling under these trees just to stay away from out of the weather, basically. And uh, we're all banged up, kind of from the hail, and like the boats. I'm not kidding you. Like the like the the rear of the boat near the engine, like where it takes on the water and kind of the it just it holds onto stuff back there. There's like where stuff stuff would accumulate was it looked like an ice machine maker like it was full of of like liters of ice <clears throat> so the worst that happened was i think it was my dad or the other dude they were like while they were driving to keep their hood and everything on they were holding their head like their head like that and uh hail smashed the knuckle so hard that they like split their hand open so they were bleeding everywhere. I actually, I think it was the other dude, my uncle Jack. So he's bleeding everywhere. And uh, he ended up needing stitches. But yeah, we just, we hunkered down on basically this island until the storm passed. And then once it passed, he uh, just obviously got in our boats and navigated our way back to our initial launch area, which was right at our campgrounds. And it was just, it was intense. Like I've, I vividly, obviously since the way I described it, I vividly remember it to this day. I'll never forget that day. We all thought we might die real shit. And it was just so random. It literally came out of absolutely nowhere. Like, couldn't have anticipated it. Just rolled in in like two minutes. sitting ducks what a bummer out of ketchup hot sauce and bacon not so much burnt tail end might need it but yeah it was a crazy time crazy moment definitely a, a scary highlight reel in my life that said though going fishing was so fun camping doing all the kid shit Honestly, it's one of my favorite meals. So simple, so basic, so easy. 
so delicious and it just it doesn't leave you like gutted or feel perfectly fine and full like it's just satiated <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed that one i certainly did i really love that until the next one you know what to do you gotta eat good live well stay true